In this video, there's even more belting nonsense with the Invercar. Uh, things have moved on a bit since a few days ago when you saw me having all the various troubles. And I'm sorry that sequence ended up a bit confusing uh, in terms of the order of things. But it is now Saturday the 20th and um, uh, this will bring you up to date with the latest happenings. Well, um, I've got a package, and this package has come all the way from Ohio in the um, United States. We've got two drive belts for a Kawasaki and um, some mysterious pulley elixir. Uh, it's basically dry graphite um, lock lube, um, apparently recommended for um, pulleys. Um, also get some essential reading material, We've got the Highland County shopper community guide now, i quite like the fact i mean a it's a broadsheet and b i'm not saying america is a stereotype in any way but the um first story is about a woman who got shot several times um thankfully she made a recovery but um yeah i look forward to reading that and i've got other reading material too um look it's exactly the sort of cars i wish i could afford to run um we've got that and more importantly, we've got Hot Rod magazine. Um, as something of a roadkill fan, um, that's still good, even though Freiburger and Finnegan aren't really that involved with Hot Rod anymore. Um, still, to, to have one in my hands, quite a moment. Yes, I do need to tidy up. And another Mopar muscle. So these are the belts. They are HP 2020s. They're designed for Kawasaki's. And... Um, Hopefully, they're going to be um, okay. Uh, if we measure them up, here's my spare Invercar belt. There is a very, very slight difference in size. They're two centimeters or a bit under an inch um, going on the outside diameter. But the, um, the widths are identical. The angle on the sides, which is a key thing, that seems identical feels a lot harder this feels a bit squishy by comparison uh, that one has seen some use of course uh, that's a drive belt i took off because it was making a horrible noise so that's the code on this one but i don't believe those are made anymore and um, there we go these are hp 2020s same company um, so i'm going to give that a go um, we'll try to pull the elixir um, which goes on the shaft so that bit in the middle and the idea is being dry it's less likely to get flung all over the place so um, gonna have to go and get the pulleys off again because these are the ones that aren't on the car at the moment that's the one that's completely seized so maybe I should try a bit of that I've even got some spray lube um, which might be a bit easier to apply so maybe I'll try that on that shaft and we'll see if we can get that shaft working again um, uh, still bits of random belt everywhere but yes thank you david for sending these belts that's um remarkably generous of you and uh, the first time i've received anything from ohio and um good news for ellie as well there's another package due later today from the netherlands um one i have actually paid for and um more on that in another video Let's take a bit of time to actually describe how this transmission works. I know some of you have asked for it. I think I covered it in an earlier video, but I couldn't even tell you which one it was. So there's the engine, um, flat twin, four stroke, air cooled. Um, you can see the exhausts coming out of each cylinder. Lovely smooth engine. I have no plans to change that. So there's a centrifugal clutch on the flywheel uh, with clutch shoes that spring out with centrifugal force into a drum on the back of the gearbox and that then sends drive to this shaft which has number one pulley on it that's the gear selector there by the way um, so that's in forwards at the moment that's backwards still don't know why it sometimes jumps out but it's not a very positive moment it's more positive going into reverse than it is into forward maybe there's something that can be adjusted who knows i digress power comes into here onto pulley number one then it uses the belt drive to go to pulley number two um, the pulleys adjust using centrifugal force and weights um, to give different ratios and which is why this shaft will spin at different speeds to this one depending on what position the pulleys are in 
in in this casing is a chain so drive goes from this point there down to this point at the bottom uh, that's the bottom cog and that goes into the final drive and the differential and then power comes out via the drive shafts there uh, one for each rear wheel and they're fiat 500 drive shafts which in theory means you could put a fiat 500 gearbox in here um i don't plan to do that it's just a fact but you can adjust the position of this um chain case um using these slider controls here and uh, that allows you to adjust the tension on the belt and um, i might just make sure those bolts are all in a decent state and ready to come undone because the new belt the kawasaki belt is a bit longer and uh, i might need to move that away to increase the gap between the two pulleys um i might assess how they look um first of all and take it from there but um yeah let's see if we can get everything back together again all right we've got the new belt installed certainly looks good uh, we'll go and give it a test drive just let talk warm myself up a bit first Right, here it goes. Where are you going, Gimbal? All over the place, it seems. That's what you're meant to be focusing on. some squealing going on there so um, I think I'll have to play and have another play with the tension uh, let's just get her into reverse another beautiful day in paradise another post run for Took let's see if she can actually make it this time uh, there and back. We've also got a bit of shopping to do. Uh, so without further ado, let's get going. Right, so part of the braking process, um, having re read about um, ATVs, which often use CVT transmissions, uh, is to drive gently for um, 20 miles. Now that's not really possible around here because Tuck's got to work quite hard going up hills. But I am trying to run on part throttle at the moment, try and keep the speed down um, on the hills certainly and um, not labor the engine or the transmission too hard um, so we've just done a couple of miles we shall keep going but the post office is still somewhere away and if i stop she steams up Oh, wow. 
driving around our barista at the moment and um, as we said the Invicar feels a lot more at home here. Bimbling along on barely any throttle at all. Um, definitely a happier transmission. successfully made it to the post office. Hurrah! And there we are at the post office. Right, shopping is the next trip. Let's hope you're now all happy, Tuck. Look at those miles, they keep clocking up. Shopping achieved um, at M&S, not co-op. And uh, now we can go home. <laughs> Here we go then, about to start the big climb back home.
don't forget to subscribe before you go. Don't forget you can visit hubnut.org to find the Hubnut store.